All right, find a suitable spot to hang up the top of your dirty bag. You connect in the hose and immediately it'll start flowing. So what you wanna do is lower it so that it, with gravity, all the water wants to go to the bottom and all those air bubbles you see are gonna to flow to the top. And then simply connect it to here, which I will do off camera because it takes more than one hand. All right, now immediately you'll see the water starts flowing down and through gravity, just gonna empty into there. And you can see it start to move and fill up already. So meanwhile, you're doing other things in camp. All right, I want you to see the flow rate. It's pretty high. Now the other thing you can do is I want you to see the flow rate coming out of there. You could just fill up a cup with that. Now if you want to slow it down, simply raise it above the bag. And because it's just gravity fed, it'll stop. And as you lower it, it'll start again. Once you're done, disconnect it. As you blow a little bit, uh, sort of backflow the water out of it. Get some of the water out there so it's not quite as heavy to pack and you're not leaking anything. Once you have the clean water assembled, uh, you can hang it up, use it in camp. Now because these are fairly idiot proof, you'll see that all the ends on here are only uh, purpose male and female ends on here. Uh, they do give you a hydration tube in here with no bite valve, so you have to get your own bite valve. And what I chose to get was the uh, slide on here. was the Camelback version, uh, simply because it has a lock, so you know it won't uh, won't leak. So, like I said, it is fairly idiot proof. Um, the blue clean water only attaches with the male end, and the dirty water only attaches uh, with the female end. Um, and I'll show you a little bit later when we go through all the parts and stuff um, how you, you can switch that around uh, for your own purpose. Now you can get just the dirty bag and the filter if that's what you want. Um, I chose to get both of these uh, just simply for the efficiency of the way everything hooks up. And uh, like I said, this is a two liter one. They do make them in four. So ultimately you could carry eight liters. Um, the empty bag doesn't weigh hardly anything. You can backflow this, which I will show you how to do that later. What you can do in the field if you want to push uh, clean water back through, uh, opposite way of the flow out the dirty side, um, or you can do it at home with a faucet attachment. Now you can buy just the filter part, and they also make a purpose-built with little barbs on the end without their special connections uh, to put in line to any hydration bladder. But um, you know, it's down to, I think, 0 0.03 microns. It basically all your bacteria and your protozoas and stuff. Uh, they do have a virus version. However, I don't really feel I need it. Um, you can easily just bleach this water after you filter the, the big guys out if you are worried about that. But um, I think it's a great little package. All right, we're coming upon the Sawyer wrap-up review here. Um, I do really like it. Uh, I've been kind of putting off doing this end review from the... Uh, initial uh, video you probably saw just before this because um, I wanted to find out I guess the ease of use the idea is perfect and you don't have to buy the same kit if I mentioned it before you can buy just the dirty bag uh, with the filter they actually have just the filters you can get they have one that I mentioned before that don't have these quick connects on them they have more of a barb system so that it's easier to fit onto um, hydration hoses and so you can run that right in line into your Camelback if you already have it. I believe it's not quite half the cost, but it's about forty-some dollars, I think, just for that. Uh, they have what they call a three-way valve uh, system going for it, and uh, it's sort of really meant for travelers. And I'll and I'll show you why you don't really need to buy that. Also, um, you can get away with just changing out some of these connectors, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, overall impression is I think it's a really cool system uh, the, initially why I got this is so that 
These are both two liters. So if I needed to, I could actually carry two liters of clean water, two liters of dirty water and have a capacity of four liters in case I was in, you know, running across large amounts of area without having to carry some of the extra platypus bags. Um, it was still an involved system. It works really well inside of a camp. Um, I will say it's not that, I guess it's not that convenient for day hikes to take this entire system. Um, I found it's easier to break down into uh, little dif different components. I think the inline one would be a really good uh, feature to have for day hikes to just to put it in line into your already used uh, camelback or whatever hy hydration bladder. Now most of my camelbacks are the 100 milliliter. Um, they're closer to 3 liters. These are 2 liters. My only negative uh, comment about that is they're a little bit narrower, squattier. So when you fill them up with water, they tend to take up more uh, vertical space. So you can definitely feel it when you've got it into a, you know the hydration sleeve in your pack. You, it just takes up more room, it seems like. Uh, the 3 liters that would be a little bit wider would gain more volume with ways, but not so much pressing into your back. Um, so that's really my only negative comment, I think, through this whole system. Uh, like I said, you know, and showed in previous videos, you know, you fill this up, it's fairly easy to fill up. Um, I never had an issue, but I am here in the Northwest, so maybe you'd want to use your cup um, to scoop up to it, something narrow to be able to feed into here. But you'd have that same problem if you were carrying any sort of hydration bladder. Um, the quick disconnects haven't failed. Uh, haven't had a single leak really. I, I really like the way it is. And I found out you don't have to have two hands to do it. Um, you don't have to uh, release this, which is what I was doing earlier in some of the earlier videos. I was releasing the release to make it easier for these to come in. But if you simply just push them, they'll, they'll hold on and lock tight. Um, what else we got in here? I did mention that it does come with a hydration bladder, uh, but you will have to, uh, provide your own bite valve. And I, again, I went with the, um, the Camelback version. I like the bigger bite flow that it has. I like to be able to lock it off. Um, the cleaning of this is fairly easy and I haven't really done it other than just to see how it works. But what you do is you reverse where the flow goes. So the flow goes from the gray into the blue. So if you attach to the blue and you hook this apparatus up to a sink then essentially use the sink water pressure to backflow the, the holofill um, cartridge inside here. Now what I will show you is what I found out is you can actually reverse it. And I'll show you that here in a second. All right, now real simply what I did is I removed one of the gray connectors so that on the other end of the gray hose I can connect in the hose from the sink. Now what essentially is reverse this, instead of backflowing sink water, I'm filling up into, I'm basically filtering the water through the filter from the sink. And this is part of what they've got, if, they, if you look them up, it's called their three-way valve because the valve structure is set up a little bit different for the, the quick, quick disconnects. Um, and this would enable you to filter water um, from a public you know faucet from a bathroom from a hotel really cool for traveling uh, it doesn't take up much space obviously and you can make this hose even smaller uh, just by trimming some of it off um, so having the the base kit with all the parts to start with um, I think in my opinion is a better format because it allows me to pick and choose uh, what items I want to take with me whether it's just a day pack and I want to just take the clean bladder and, clean bladder and use it um, simply as a regular camelback would um, or keep the little filter with me. Like I said, day hikes, I'll probably still use the SteriPen. It's just more convenient, um, especially if you have the if you have this bladder um, into the pack. It is a little awkward to fill it by hanging up this bag um, to fill it while it's in there. So you have to kind of remove it which is kind of a pain in the butt you don't really want to do. Um, all in all, I really like the system. I think it's worked great. Um, like I said, my only negative con uh, comment would be to get a wider bag. Um, and that's just a personal preference just for how it feels in, in the backpack.
but I think it offers you, it allows you to filter water out of a stream, out of a hotel room, and the flow rate, which you saw in the video before, is phenomenal. All right, so what I did was I essentially put the gray ones back in, I pulled one of the blue ones off, and instead of having these specialized barbs uh, filter, I've essentially just taken the wide part of the hose and put it over there, put the bite valve back on the other side, and now I have from the dirty bag through the filter straight sucking uh, right from the uh, the bite valve here and so essentially you would have create an inline um, system so it's pretty much very versatile uh, the fact that it does you know guaranteed millions of gallons and I think that's due to the hollow fill and some of the other hollow fill pumps um, people have complained about them getting um, very slow rates very quickly and I haven't found that to be true with this one um, I haven't had to backflow it. Like I said, I did just to make sure I knew how everything worked. Uh, there is a way to do it in the field. If you have any water in the clean bag, uh, even if the slow rate is diminished, you know, let it fill up as, you know, as much as you can wait for, and then use the pressure in the bag to push back through the filter and essentially backflow it into the dirty one, and then I would dump this out and get new water. Um, Part of that is I don't really have a whole lot of dirty water that I need to get. Um, in the Northwest, I have a lot of very clean runoff streams and rivers. So I think that's part of the reason I haven't had to do that. Um, maybe if you guys are sucking up, you know, mud puddles and stuff like that, you might have more of an issue. Um, but where I'm at, it really, it worked flawlessly. And I thank you for your time.